It's a big pleasure to finish this encounter of cybersecurity organized by uh, the Cybersecurity Institute of Spain. It is an encounter that is a reference in this sector as a point of collaboration to the enterprises and experts of the country in this occasion and the program. For the first time, it's been celebrated in a virtual way, uh, compulsory because of the situation we're living in. But I think that these circumstances even show that how necessary these technologies are to increment the capacities in uh, security of information and also have processes and professionals of this ecosystem. Not only because the cyber incidents cause a damage itself, but also the negative impact on the trust of the use of digital technologies on the sites of the citizen. Trust and confidence is um, key for the developing of the country. And if cybersecurity is relevant in this moment, it's going to be even more in the following decades, as long as we advance in the digitalization of the societies and our systems. According to the Economical Forums, by 2022, the 75% of the product of the world is going to be digitalized. This context of growth and opportunities, it will entail a risk for security. So we keep we need to keep on working to protect citizens, governments and enterprises in the cyberspace. And it's not only about having more exposition to risk, but also the cyber crimes are more sophisticated day by day. This global character and cross-sectional character that doesn't understand of frontiers and barriers makes that there's not safety without the collaboration of all the agents of this system. This collaboration is going to be as strong as the weakest agent is. So that makes us to work in a coexisting way. It's going to be important in two different spheres internally, reinforcing our national infrastructure of security, reinforcing also the capacities of the private sector. And the, on the other side, the other side of the story would be the opportunities representing from the economical point of view, because it's one of the most future uh, sectors. And this uh, sector of cybersecurity is going to accelerate in the following years when it comes to apporting to the richness of the countries and also generating quality employments. The service towards uh, citizens is something that we take seriously and we're working in this, like in the line of help of cybersecurity 017, the center of operations of cybersecurity and also the support of employees of this sector. Of course, for the government, digitalization is something urgent, it's a priority. And to address this, we have defined a pathway for the 2020-25 agenda to recuperate economically and define the structure in favor of a more sustainable and inclusive structure. It means a 33% of the investment of the resilience plan of Spain at 20 billion euros in the period 2020 and 2023. We want Spain to be one of the safest cyber secure countries and we will reinforce this with three lines of acting to increment the capacities of cyber security of citizens and enterprises to boost the uh, ecosystem in this sector and also to boost our visibility internationally and creating mechanisms to help the private sector to be more present in these initiatives. As to show this is the official candidacy of León to be the European Center for Cybersecurity and Research with the support of the Town Hall of León and also of Castilla y León and the government of Spain, because this is a country project in order to improve the capacities in cybersecurity in Europe and improve the competitiveness of the enterprises in the industry. I just want to congratulate the INCIBE for the organization of this encounter. And also, I expect and hope that all of the participants have had a very successful um, journeys and i will close this um any spirit edition 14 thank you so much and see you the following year